Sean, what does Uskategi do well, and how does he go about winning this fight, do you think? He's a power puncher. He, uh, he believes in his power, and uh, he takes it right to his guys. He's right there in your face the whole fight, <laughs> and he's not going anywhere. He believes in his power. That's how he wins. We talked about this. I mean, the guy, he's stationary. He, the guy's always looking for that one knockout punch, and, and uh, I mean, against... Uh, Caleb Plant. I mean, Caleb Plant is so relaxed. I mean, as we see him there on camera, the guy's just so relaxed. I mean, the guy's never going to give you a target, and he's always going to fight in the outside. Makes it a really tough fight for Uz 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 Peggy. Yeah. yeah, it does. You got the name out well. I got it, I got uh, it. <laughs> uh, does Caleb Plant got the ability to hurt Uzkategi? <sighs> you know what, Here, here's the thing. I'm not really looking for Caleb to hurt Uzkategi. I'm looking for Caleb to outbox him, right. use his jab, use the whole ring. This is what Caleb loves to do. He's comfortable doing it. So we're not asking him to change his game plan. We're not asking him to do anything he's not capable of doing. Uh, okay, well, uh, coming into this one, Caleb is actually the, the plus 150 underdog. So how does he get his hand raised on January the 13th? Well, if Caleb does win, uh, it'll be down to his jab. He's got a really active left hand, uh, lands a jab and a half more per round than the division's average. His durability is his other asset in this one. The 26-year-old is undefeated, went the distance his last four fights, including a 12-rounder. You guys agree with that analysis? Uh, I do. Uh, I believe that he is, uh, I mean, sometimes myself as a fan get frustrated. The guy just loves to be on the outside. He's so relaxed in there. He doesn't more than he has to. Um, he, doesn't, um, he doesn't go out there for the knockout. Even when he has the fighter hurt, he doesn't, he doesn't, have, he doesn't have the killer instinct. I've seen you know? it. I think, I think <laughs> we've all seen it. And that's something about Caleb. One knock on Caleb is he will get a guy a little shook, yeah. a, little, a little hurt and he may not put his foot on the gas pedal. We want to see, as boxing fans, we want to see that. And, you know, obviously as boxer, as you know, boxers, we want to see that. But that's the thing that works in his favor. Yeah. We talk about Especially him going, in this fight. We talk about him going 10 and 12 rounds. He's able to do that because of the pace that he sets mm -hmm. in the fight. And he sets that pace because he... he and he, he always he, sets the pace. Yeah, yeah, he's a ring general. So he, he, he sets the pace like that. And, you know, he, he gets it done uh, through, throughout the fight. Oh, well, really looking forward to that fight in 2019 sure. uh, on Fox. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.